Hey everybody, welcome back to EOS Marketplace News. I'm Riz and I'm here to bring you up to date with the latest out of EOS Marketplace News. Now, if this is your first time in our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get the latest out of EOS Marketplace News. And guys, before we proceed, let me just remind you that we are not financial advisors, but we are a gathering of good news and rumors about EOS and other favorite digital currencies and blockchains. And what we strongly suggest is that you guys do your own final research to make the best decision for yourself. Alright, so guys, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a great time. And uh, today I would like to make a video about one of the most interesting articles that have come across the internet today. But before we discuss that, I just want to invite you all to visit us, our, um, to visit us at our website at preferredcurrency.news. Now, with preferredcurrency.news, you can subscribe to our daily newsletter where you can get lots of useful information regarding informational uh, for your informational and educational purposes. Now, this is a copy of our newsletter that all of our subscribers had received last night. So prior to uh, our broadcasting of these information here on YouTube, your, uh, you will be able to uh, receive all the information 12 hours earlier before the rest of the world. So go ahead and check us out today. Now, this is a copy of our daily newsletter for October 24th. And as you can see, it has, um, it contains uh, three, uh, three of the most interesting articles that we have come across, the 500 online videos and research links that we monitor each day and include them in our newsletter as our headlines. So for today, we have Visa set to launch blockchain-based digital identity system with IBM in the first quarter of 2019. Accenture Tech now connects Corda, Fabric, DA, and Quorum blockchains. And of course, Japanese regulator to host regular global cryptocurrency roundtable. Now, I've made a video earlier today about all of these articles. So go ahead and subscribe now to our channel to... Um, get a hold of that video all right so also included in our newsletter is a great website where you can get alerts about your eos transactions now you'll be able to get alerts about your uh, about incoming and outgoing transfers in your account and also many many more alerts that you should need uh, that you should be notified with so you can go ahead and check us out uh and check that website here uh, on our newsletter also you can find in our newsletter a place where you can advert, uh, advertise what you have for sale in exchange for eos and if you are someone who is thinking about um probably renting a vac uh, vacation house uh, purchasing a vehicle uh, or getting any services in exchange uh, using your EOS tokens there's also a great place right here in our daily newsletter issue so go ahead and be a subscriber today but um, I'll just share to you the part where I'm most excited about is uh, Dodd's research list now with Dodd's research list you'll be able to get all the necessary information for you to uh, evaluate your favorite crypto coin if they are uh, about how they are performing for the day so as you can see on your screens this is Dodd's research list uh, spreadsheet and it will give you an idea if your um, if your favorite token is performing well uh, through the news that it's receiving for the day for example if uh, the name of your token in the first column is highlighted red then your token is having probably a bad day because it's getting negative news for the day now orange uh, highlight is for neutral yellow is for fair green is for good news and if your favorite token is highlighted blue then congratulations because your token is having the best news for the day so not only that it will also show you its current price in US dollar uh, the share of total market volume it's Google searches compared to the last seven days, 50 candle SMA movement, number of positive technical indicators, and it's 24 hour volume versus price, weekly volume versus price, and it's monthly volume versus price. And let's not forget the percentage that each token has been issued. So 
all of these information are necessary for you to understand if your token is performing well if it's in a slack or if it's in the bearish mood or in the bullish mood so all of those information packed and jammed in one sub uh, spreadsheet that you can uh, access very easily through our website and by the way you will never ever find this information anywhere else in the internet so go ahead and check us out today at preferred currency news and be a subscriber now for you to be able to do that all you gotta do is to go to www.preferredcurrency.news and find the paypal icon which you can use to pay for a monthly recurring 15 dollars per month fiat or you can even use the coinbase platform or the coinbase exchange to pay for an annual subscription of 180 dollars to be paid with your favorite crypto so guys uh go ahead and check us out today at preferredcurrency.news all right so going back to the news for today Bill proposes tax holiday for cryptocurrency businesses in Ukraine. Sounds interesting. Now, a draft bill introducing tax breaks for entrepreneurs and companies dealing with cryptocurrencies has been filed in Ukraine's parliament, the Verkhovna Rada. Now, the authors of the bill have called for tax exemptions for entities working in the sector until the end of 2019. All right. So Ukrainian lawmaker Yuri Derevyanko, one of the leaders of the Movement of New Forces Party, put forward a new proposal to relieve cryptocurrency businesses from taxation for at least a decade. Bill 90, uh, 9083-1 has advanced through a number of important parliamentary committees this month, including those responsible for budgetary matters, financial policies, custom regulations, and European integration. Now, if adopted, the proposed legislation would result in amendments to the Ukrainian tax code. It would provide tax breaks on income earned from all cryptocurrencies transactions. Both corporate entities and private individuals dealing with cryptocurrencies would be able to benefit from the tax moratorium until december 31 2029 the important uh the import and sale of equipment designed solely for mining would also be exempted from vat in addition the bill introduces a number of new legal terms pertaining to virtual assets and blockchain technologies cryptocurrencies have been defined as intangible digital assets the right to possession of which is recorded in distributed ledgers the draw uh, the draft law describes cryptocurrency mining as data processing related to the maintenance of distributed ledgers which is then rewarded with digital assets derivianco believes that the zero percent tax will stimulate the development of cryptocurrency market in ukraine and open the door for new investments he said this will create conditions for the cryptocurrency industry to become a critical element of econ uh, the country's economy he also uh he also said it by ukraine uh he was quoted by ukrainian and russian media and i quote i think that it is necessary to introduce a 10-year tax moratorium in the crypto space we must streamline and legalize this huge uh, huge sector which will be the engine of the new economy unquote the bill was announced as an alternative to another draft presented by derevyanko's colleague alexei mushak a member of president Pe uh, Petro Poroshenko's Solidary Party and Bill 9083 was introduced in September, which is also aimed at amending the Ukrainian tax code to provide tax breaks for the crypto industry. According to that proposal, profits from transactions related to cryptocurrencies and other digital assets would be subject to preferential tax of 5% until the end of 2023 starting from January 1 2000, uh, 2024 individuals and business would be required to pay an 18% tax rate on their income for such deals and despite the multiple legislative uh, proposals as well as call from government officials and representatives of the industry ukraine's cryptocurrency market remains un uh, largely unregulated 
three bills dealing with the key regulatory challenges have been filed in the parliament since last October, but no real progress has been made toward their adoption and at least that has been reported thus far. In August 2018, the Verkovna Zabrada said that the legislation recognizing cryptocurrencies as financial assets would be adopted at some point this year or by 2019 in the latest. In the absence of clear guidelines regarding taxation, a deputy finance minister recently advised Ukrainians to pay for a 19.5% income tax on profits from crypto transactions. In July, Ukrainians or Ukraine's Financial Stability Council approved a new uh, regulatory concept for cryptocurrency sector. The members of the council, including representatives of the National Bank, the Ministry of Finance, the Deposit Guarantee Fund, the National Security and Stock Market Commission and then the uh, National Financial Services Market Commission reaffirmed their willingness to work with lawmakers in the RADA to adopt to a comprehensive legal framework that will ensure transparent relations between crypto investors and other stakeholders and of course the government in the Kiev. Now guys, do you think the proposed tax breaks can help the cryptocurrency industry become a major part of the Ukrainian economy? Let us know in the comment section below. And guys, please stay tuned for more videos and more um, more updates from PCN.today and PreferredCurrency.news. And I will be back real soon, so sit back and relax and stay tuned to EOS Marketplace News. This has been Riz and I will see you soon again. Bye.